2021 and I am going to do a short video talking about my dad's XJR 1300 from 2002 uh, that he bought second hand, I think it was 2006, I was still in secondary school at that time. This is a great big bike, it has a lot of torque, but it is also old school, as I am going to describe in this video. This bike is pretty much standard, apart from the exhaust, which he changed my dad back when he bought it. Originally, it is with a 4-in-2 exhaust system, and he made it into a 4-in-1 with the Devil exhaust. The middle part can be um, removed easily, so the original exhaust can be installed quite easily. This exhaust here was also installed on an XJR 1300 or a 1200, I think it was a 1300 also, which was involved in an accident, unfortunately, and this one was intact. So my dad bought it from the owner and installed it on this one, and I think it fits great. Apart from that, my, my dad only polished the rims here and left only the middle section painted so uh, it is it looks even uh, with the illusion that it is a bit wider i think it is with a 190 tire at the back yeah with 190 tire at the back like my z1000 apart from that it has 26,000 kilometers so for its age Remember, this is a 2002 model and I'm doing this video in 2021, so almost 20 years old, this bike, and still looks, in my opinion, great. Apart from the fact that I love old school bikes, so it would still remain great looking for my tastes. The XJR was first issued as a 1200 and a 400 and then moved into being produced as a 1300 the, the basic shape remained quite similar over the years even the 1200 it was a bit more boxy but one would know that it is an xjr the, even the 400 even though it is a, a, a little bike or a middle sized bike it is still very identical to this one in, in terms of styling. When it comes to the paint job, this was issued like this from the factory, so it was not painted here. The graphics are also, from my knowledge, unique to Malta, so uh, this is the only bike which was issued like this in Malta. Obviously, there are others like this one abroad, but in my country, I believe this is the only one. I know of a 400 which was painted this way, so it was made here. But I haven't seen it in uh, around 10 years, I think, so I don't know what happened to that one. Uh, it, was, it was also issued in other colors and different graphics throughout the years, and I, I like them, all of them, basically. But I love, really love, this racing Yamaha, Yamaha racing inspired graphics on, on the side of the tank and going at the back. When it comes to the engine, it is said that it has been um, built on the engine of the old school mid 80s FJ 1100. So the the in fact the, the engine is air cooled. It does have an air cooler obviously, but it is air cooled. And uh, yeah, it is five speed double overhead camshafts and uh, four valves per cylinder. It is very torquey as I said before. 
and it is in my honest opinion it is not for a, a, a beginner by rider it is more of a, for experienced riders due to the fact that it is it weighs around 240 kilos so even for the twists and curves one who likes to to dive into the corners won't find it uh, easily to manage at first but once you one get used to it it is quite uh, okay to to ride it is very comfortable when riding in in a cruise fast cruising speed it is made for that it, it still goes up to 260 kilometers per hour but yeah it is not like a sport bike which goes up to 300 or, or even more it is made for torque in fact it, it does accelerate really quickly apparently it does the quarter of a mile around 10.6 seconds which is very good we have never went drag racing with it though so we can't verify that number actually um, apart from uh, that as i said it the, the riding position is quite upright and it has no windshield so uh, it is also again with that old school type of mentality and uh, which I, I really like the muscle bike type of thing and uh, yeah it is quite comfortable when riding in straight lines even with the curves once one gets used to it apart from that one may mention uh, or notice a detail here this one unlike most of xjr's have a black engine it was issued like this from the factory as well as an extra one has to mention the olin suspension at the back which work fine and as well as the brakes from from the yamaha r1 of the period one thing that i was going to forget was uh, this one the cover of the oil cooler which was what my my dad is an extra as well and the middle section of the exhaust i mentioned it before it was made by a exhaust specialist i think he, he was called uh, with the nickname El jamar this one is also carbureted and i think in 2007 or maybe a one or two years earlier they adopted uh, the fuel injection system one may also mention that the yamaha xgr was discontinued uh, so it was produced until 2014 i think in this type of styling then was redesigned for two years about till 2016 it was almost identical but uh, at the back it was the rear end was shorter it had a more of a cafe racer look from the factory but then in, as said in 2016 it was stopped as far as i know because of emissions i was sorry that it was when i heard the news that it was going to be discontinued because i really love this type of honest looking brutal type of bike if one can describe it in that way honest looking in, in the way of an old school type of engine almost an, an 80s an improved very improved 80s bike so yeah i really loved the spirit of the yamaha xjr and i was sorry that it was discontinued finally i demand you that if you have an opportunity to ride an xjr go and, and ride it it is a great experience uh, i think it is one a comfortable bike to a very very powerful uh, bike in terms of torque it gives the rider a special experience i think however as i said previously uh, make sure that you know how to ride properly since it's not uh, really a, a bike to start with Thank you and uh, I will post other videos uh, about other bikes in the future. Thanks.
because it's the middle of the night and my neighbors would call me. I'm not going to say anything wrong about my neighbors because they may see this video too.